In Rogue Wave, the prototype game you're looking at right now, we already have a couple of hundred voice lines, like this one. However, we don't have any voice actors at this time. How do we get something that is good enough for a prototype on such a small budget? AI is the answer, of course, but while AI voices are impressive, they are still noticeably AI. In our case, that's not so much of a problem since our voice lines are spoken by nanobots who are in the head, as it were, of the player. This means we can do some quite robust processing of the voice and hide the fact that they're AI generated. In this video, I'm going to show you our workflow so that you too can quickly generate hundreds of voice lines for your games. In this video, I'm using a couple of licensed tools. However, it's entirely possible to reproduce this workflow using only free tools if you're on a really tight budget. When we introduce the tools, I'll provide a few hints on how to do this. But if you want to buy the tools, check out the links in the description. The first of the tools that I'm going to use is Eleven Labs. Eleven Labs is, in my opinion, the best text-to-speech offering out there. They have a very generous free offering, up to 10,000 characters per month, with three custom voices, which is fantastic. It really is. But they start at just $5 a month after your initial month's subscription, and that really boosts the amount that you can do. So strongly recommend you take a look at this. You'll see it in action shortly. The next tool that I'm going to use is Reaper. This is a digital audio workstation and it's very powerful. Now the nice thing about this if you're on a budget is that although it's not free, before you purchase the license $60 for individuals, $225 for commercial license, you actually are able to use it for free. It just has a nag screen at the beginning telling you to buy it. Now if you use it a lot you absolutely should pay for it but it is fantastic. It's well worth the money. Again you'll see it in action shortly. And the last of the paid tools that we're going to use is Dehumanizer 2 from Krotos. Now, this is very expensive. It's $490. But if you can't afford it, don't worry. You can actually do this with tools that are included with Reaper that we just talked about. As I'm recording this, it is in a sale and it's very often in a sale. You can actually get it for $399 and that includes a bunch of other tools as well, which are equally as useful. Very much worth the money if you can afford that. So let's put those all together and I'll give you some hints as how you can avoid paying for that dehumanizer when we get to the appropriate point. What we're going to do here is make five announcer names for one of the items in the game. So you'll see the entire workflow beginning to end. So we're going to do the shotgun. Just confirm that we don't have any name clips at the moment for the shotgun. We go into our 11 labs and we type in shotgun. See what that sounds like shotgun perfect so we're going to save that and initially i'm going to put it into a temporary folder and i'm going to call it 001 then we generate more shotgun 002 and another one i'm going to do five in total shotgun shotgun Shotgun. Okay, so that's the five done. And we're now we're going to open up that folder. We have our files there. We're going to go to Reaper. And in Reaper, we're going to create a new track. And we're going to call this Shotgun Announcer Name. And then we're going to go and get our audio. And we're going to drag it into that track there. We want it sequential on one track. So let's just bring that into view and zoom in a little bit. So now with them all highlighted like that, I can trim them all by just dragging like that. And I'm just looking to make sure that I'm not cutting any of them off at the start, which I'm not, and then do the same thing at the end. Now they are different lengths, so we are going to need to trim up a little bit so this one, this one, and this one can all be trimmed together. And actually these two are still quite a bit longer. There we go. Excellent. So let's bring these in so we can work with them in a bit of a tighter area. And let's have a listen to those without the effects on first. 
Shotgun, 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 shotgun. Okay, so we've got five different sounds, and then with the effects turned on. Shotgun, 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 shotgun. So how do you do those effects? Well, these are really simple effects that I've got here, starting off with Dehumanizer. That does the majority of the work. In fact, if I turn off the other two and hit play. Shotgun, 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 shotgun. And then we have a compressor. Shotgun, 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 Just tighten shotgun, it up a bit. Shotgun, shotgun, and then finally shotgun, some EQ. Shotgun, 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 Make shotgun, it a little bit shotgun. less harsh. Now, if you can't afford Dehumanizer, um, you can actually reproduce this with plugins that are included in Reaper. This just makes it easier uh, to work with. But you can see all we're really doing here is taking the main input, pitch shifting it, then putting a delay on it, and then giving it to the output. And then there's a different path through where we're doing another pitch shift, and we're putting a flanger and a chorus on. And then a third track, which is just doing flanger and chorus. So you can play around with those kinds of configurations and so on. There's loads of tutorials on the internet on how to do that. But if you can afford Dehumanizer, you simply press a button, twiddle a couple of dials, and you're good. And that's that. So now I want to highlight each of these. And once I have all those, I'm going to use a shortcut that I've set up, which is shift Control r That creates region names for me. So let's very quickly look at how you do that. You go to your actions, show action list. And what I'm looking for is region. And if I scroll down a little, you can see that it has this markers, insert separate regions for each selected item. And then you can click add and set up your preferred shortcut here. Okay, and now we're ready to render. So control alt R brings up our rendering window. And you can see that I've set up the path to point into my nanobot announcements and I'm using the folders, that's the weapon folder, followed by, in this case, shotgun announcer name, which is the name of the track, and then the region number here. And so if I hit render five files, it takes just a few seconds. They will have been rendered directly into my audio folder inside Unity, and you can find them down here. Shotgun. Shotgun. So all I need to do now is go to my recipe for the shotgun, lock that, go to my audio files and drag them in. And there they are, they're already aligned. So I need to do that for all of my weapons and all of my pickups that we might want to have the nanobots build. There you have it. Very quickly create hundreds of voice lines for your game. Don't forget that all of the code for this is available in GitHub. See the link in the description. Try it out. Let us know how you get on. Come join us on Discord. We share all sorts of tricks like this all the time.